Hello and welcome to the MJ Take on Sports Fan Entertainment. And today, we're going back in the impossible section as we're going to talk about how the New York Jets can win Super Bowl 52 and succeed in 2017. And it's not entirely impossible, but no one's going to bet on this. But with that said, hey, I think there's three keys, three ways for the Jets to get there. Let's start with key number one, and we go to the quarterback position as I normally do now the Jets currently have a very interesting quarterback room as they sign Josh McCown in the free agency period they're retaining Bryce Petty and they are retaining Christian Hackenberg Ryan Fitzpatrick is no longer with New York he is now playing for the Tampa Bay Buccaneers and Geno Smith is still with New York but not with the Jets now with the New York Giants so the quarterback room has changed but Petty and Hackenberg remain so to me Hackenberg has to win the starting job and he has to be really really good why because I already know what I'm getting from Bryce Petty and Josh McCown they stink now McCown at times can be all right for maybe like a five or six game stretch maybe it will play well maybe win you a couple of games but there's no way in hell Josh McCown will lead you to a Super Bowl as for Bryce Petty Get out of here. Bryce Petty may be the worst quarterback in NFL history. I'm, I'm honestly serious. He is awful. Three touchdowns, seven, uh, seven interceptions right now he has for his entire career. 56% completion percentage. And you can go back and you can find some quarterbacks that have had worse stat lines than that. When you actually turn on the tape and you watch this clown, he stinks bad okay it's incredible how much he stinks and then those quarterbacks in the past they weren't in the past happy NFL that Bryce Petty is in today having three touchdowns to seven interceptions in today's NFL is pathetic I don't want to hear or talk about Bryce Petty now Christian Hackenberg okay there's a chance why because this was a highly touted recruit coming out of high school and we know that within Hackenberg lies great potential but the problem is we don't know where it went okay Okay, he was very good his first year at Penn State, and then from there he stunk. Okay, he was awful, and, and you know he blamed his the, his new offensive coordinator and his new coach coming in there changing things. Okay, sure, but the new Penn State quarterback is doing all right. He's not great as a talent. He runs around a lot. He's not a great thrower, but they're getting a lot more out of him than they got out of Hackenberg. I just think Hackenberg is not very good. His footwork is erratic. His accuracy is ridiculously erratic. And his pocket awareness is trouble. With that said, currently in Jets minicamp and whatever the hell they're doing, OTAs, you know, that stuff that goes on during this time period in the NFL offseason, Hackenberg has been raising some eyebrows amongst the Jets coaching staff, etc. So now my eyebrow is raised. Perhaps there is still something within Christian Hackenberg that can be a good NFL quarterback, and he is going to have to start and be very good to me. He is the only quarterback that still has the potential to lead this team to a Super Bowl. I don't want to hear or talk about Bryce Petty or Josh McCown. That's key number one. Key number two, Jamal Adams and Marcus May have to be great. G-R-E-A-T great. Now, Jamal Adams should not be a problem, okay? He was the sixth overall pick in the 2017 NFL draft, and he was the third prospect on my big board before the draft. Strong safety out of LSU. This guy's an absolute beast. He is an absolute run stuffer. If you think you're going to run past Jamal Adams, not today. He's going to track you down on fourth down. He makes huge plays. On third down, he makes huge plays. He comes down with interceptions. He forces the occasional fumble. He's all over the football field. The guy knows what he's doing. The guy's going to be an absolute beast. Now, Marcus May, eh, we'll see. He was the Jets' second-round pick. I want to say, like, 40th overall or something around there. And there are things to like about Marcus May, a safety out of Florida. He'll be playing free safety for this football team, assuming that he can beat out Calvin Pryor in training camp, which shouldn't be too hard because Pryor is currently on the edge of this roster right now, sounds like at least. So Marcus May should start, and he has some nice traits about him. He has some nice instincts, some decent athleticism, some long arms. He can make some plays, get some interceptions.
interceptions, bat down some balls. They're going to need both of these safeties to be absolutely great to me. They're going to have to be great in order for the Jets to win Super Bowl 52. That is key number two. Key number three. I need the linebacking core to be great. Okay, so currently the linebacking core has some guys that are young, some guys that are talented, but haven't quite put it together. I start with Darren Lee, the first round pick last year out of Ohio State. I thought he was a great draft pick at the time. He had a disappointing rookie year to me, missing a lot of tackles, not diagnosing plays correctly, not recognizing plays correctly, getting fooled by play action, misdirections, and things of the sort. He needs to improve in his second year. I look at Lorenzo Malden, who was picked, I want to say, a couple years ago out of Louisville. He hasn't stepped up to be a big-time pass rusher for this football team. He's going to need to. I look at Jordan Jenkins, the outside linebacker out of Georgia. The Jets took, I want to say, last year. And he was never going to be a big-time sack guy to me. He was a decent run defender last year. He's going to have to be a pretty damn great one this year for the Jets to win the Super Bowl. Those are the three main guys that I look at and say I need to see more production out of them, and they really need to elevate their level of play. Because the linebacking court, to me, it's the weakness of this Jets uh, defense, although the secondary is not great either. I think now with the safeties coming in there, now with Morris Claiborne coming in there, I think the linebacking court is now the worst amongst this Jets defensive unit. And in terms of the defensive line, I think it's fine. Now, Muhammad Wilkerson did not have a great year last year, but remember, he had some injury troubles to start the season and never really got right. He had like an ankle injury, I want to say, that bothered him throughout the entire year. Now, you're going to get him back and healthy. Now, Sheldon Richardson still being a bit of a clown, okay? So, you're going to have to fix that situation, either trade him or get him motivated to play great yet again. But Leonard Williams in the middle of this defensive line, oh, we know what we're going to get from him, and he's going to be an absolute beast. Now, if they want to win the Super Bowl, Maybe he'd get 10 plus sacks, but that wasn't one of my keys today, so I won't quite say that. Offensively, again, there was only one key related to the offense, and that was Hackenberg being great. But if Hackenberg is great, it's probably because he got a lot of help from Eric Decker and Quincy Inunua, who are going to have to be a good number one and number two wide receiving core duo. And let me tell you right now, hey, Eric Decker's good, okay? Despite whatever quarterbacks he's had, Ryan Fitzpatrick, Tim Tebow once upon a time, he's been good. I'm not worried about Eric Decker, although his health does concern me. As a talent, I'm not too worried about him as long as he hasn't lost a step that I don't project that he has. Inunwa, last year, it could have been fool's gold. We'll see as it pertains to Inunwa. I, I like Inunwa, but I don't want to go head over heels saying, oh, I love Quincy. Inunwa is going to be a beast, whatever. The run game is interesting because you currently have Bilal Powell and Matt Forte. Powell had a nice end to last season. A nice end to last season. So perhaps he could lead the run game a little bit. And Matt Forte could be a nice complimentary back. Be a nice receiving back. And then your offense is doing things. And the offensive line isn't great either. There's a lot of ifs. Okay, there's a lot of things that you have to combine on this Jets defense. Okay, we need the offensive line to play better. The defensive line to play better. The linebacker to play better. The secondary to play better. The quarterback play to be much better. And then maybe the Jets can have a winning season. But to win the Super Bowl, we need all three things that I talked about. Hackenberg being damn near great, Adams and May being great, and the linebacking core being pretty damn good. And even then, it would be really hard for this Jets team to actually win the Super Bowl, Super Bowl because you're going to have the inexperience at the quarterback position. You're going to have the inexperience at some other key positions as well. So that'd be worrisome, but hey, that's the video. So there you go. Those are my thoughts on the Jets and how they can win Super Bowl 52. What were your thoughts on this video? Comment down below. I want to know if you enjoyed the video. Make sure to like, comment, and most importantly, to subscribe. And until next time, this has been the MJ Take on Sports Fan Entertainment. And I'm out. Peace.